Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. In this episode, we're going to be making our way up to the village and trying to find Shan Yu. But first, in the checkpoint, I believe we're really close to a level up, so I'm going to go ahead and fight the enemies that I know are going to spawn here. And I might as well try and fill up my drive bar while I'm at it, which is why I am, you know, fighting these crates or carts or whatever but here we got that level up that i thought we were gonna get and we get the combo boost which basically the more attacks in your combo as far as i know the more damage your combo finisher will do and i might as well go ahead and equip that here along with i believe we have an item boost from earlier yeah there we go basically what the item boost does is give you more healing power for your high potions and stuff like that but i believe we're going to be getting a cutscene here pretty much right out of the gate And now I remember why I was hesitant to say if there was a cutscene here or not, because that was, I hate to say, pointless, but not really too much happened in that cutscene. And it seems like a lot of times, and I don't remember if it happens after this level, but especially so far in this level, we've seen like 10 second long cutscenes that don't really do anything. But anyway, I don't mean to rip on the cutscenes because I do like them. In this little segment of the game here, what you have to do is press triangle to do the rock shatter reaction command, but you have to do it twice. If you get hit, between, you know, the two times you have to do it by any of the enemies, you have to start the reaction command over, which is why I recommend in that first part there, you go after the night stalkers or night walkers, I still don't remember what they're actually called. Those are the enemies that are more likely to hit you and interrupt your reaction command, so I recommend taking them out first, and then if the soldiers are giving you a problem, go ahead and try and take them out, but they're not really that big of a deal. Now that treasure chest, in Final Mix, of course, as I'm playing it, you can see, has a lightning shard in it, but I really do not remember that treasure chest having a lightning shard in it in the original game. I thought, and this is a really weird thought, like it's just one random treasure chest, I guess, but I really thought that it had a mithril shard or something like that in it instead of a lightning shard. So if anybody knows, I would be glad to hear. Maybe that's the mithril shard that I was talking about. But there's a puzzle piece up there on top of the, like, I don't know what you would call that, just like a rock formation that looks like you could get it right now, but even using Valor form like we did in Hollow Bastion, and there's another puzzle piece later on that we're going to have to use that with, you can't get it with Valor form, and there's no way you can get it as regular Sora. One thing that I had, or one idea I had, is it looks like you would be able to just use combos. Like if there was an enemy in front of you, you might be able to combo that enemy enough to get up there on top of that rock. I tried that off camera, and there's almost no way to do that as far as I know with the small combos that we have right now. There might be a way later on to get it using a combo, you know, comboing enemies to get up there, but that's a really, like, sketchy way of getting it, and there's a much easier way to get it once we have the, like, maneuverability techniques that we'll have later on. But in this treasure chest, we have a recovery recipe. And speaking of recovery, I can't really use that technique that I was going to tell you about right now because I already did it. But if you leave Donald out of the party, like if you have Ping and Goofy right now, if you bring Donald into the party, usually he will heal you upon entering the party. So that's a free, you know, way of curing yourself. And here we get a level up of our Valor form. And we get the Auto Valor technique, which I probably won't ever use. But basically what it does if you equip it, is if you get too low on HP, a reaction command will come up, so, like if you get too low, and you can immediately turn into Valor form and save yourself pretty much. But anyway, here are going to be yet more cutscenes. Hey, you ain't half bad. A man among men. Thanks. But the captain... Captain! Ping sure did great! You bet he did! Hmm, fine. I'll let you join my troops. But I'm still not convinced you have what it takes to be a worthy soldier. Why not? It's alright, Sora. I'll find a way to show him what I'm made of. Just give me a chance. That's the spirit, Ping. Sir!
Good going, thing. Thanks. Okay, girl, here's your chance. I just saw this real shady guy, and I know it's Shan Yu. Shan Yu? That's the Hun leader. We've got to tell the captain. Right. Wait, 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 wait. Everybody use their heads a sec. Now, why are we here? To make the captain see Mulan's, I mean Ping's talents, and bring honor to her family. So, let's go find out where Shan Yu is by ourselves, then if we're lucky we can fry him up good. Though just tracking the guy down should earn us our stars, Captain Musclehead will have to notice my girl. Okay, let's go. We'll help out. Now we're cooking. Shan Yu is in a cave outside the village. And here we got the village area map, which is another really small area of effect map, I guess. But right now we are still Valorform, and what I would like to do is come over here to the world map, or the save spot, and go to the world map. You might be wondering why I would do this right in the middle of the Land of Dragons, but basically what that does, if you go to the world map in the middle of using a drive form, and you go back into a world, you can see that the drive meter is all the way filled back up. That might seem like an exploit, but it makes leveling up forms later on much easier, and it's overall just less of a hassle to do that than having to collect drive balls, and one of the reasons I don't really consider it to be an exploit as we get a piece of heart right here is because Square Enix patched a lot of the other things that they consider to be exploits, like in this level there are those cars that give you the drive balls that you can farm pretty much, and here's another puzzle piece by the way, they didn't patch the go to the world map to refill your drive meter. But anyway, as far as drive goes, if you turn into Valor form, you can jump on top of this house right here to get on top of that bell tower, and if you jump just right, you'll slide right off like I just did and not get the puzzle piece. But let me go ahead and try this one more time, and if I don't get it this time, I'll probably just go ahead and speed it up, just like that one time in Hollow Bastion, but I guess we don't really have to worry about that. And that might be actually our first dawn piece right there. But while we're here, I might as well go ahead and drop off our materials at the shop right here. And we get the free development list, which is basically a list of stuff that we can create without having to find dedicated recipes for those items. But we don't really have the stuff to really make anything substantial right now. So I'm just going to come over here and go in this cave to further the plot. But I don't really have to worry about going to the world map. Because as soon as we go in the cave up here, it will replenish our drive form anyway. But what in the world is going on with those treasure chests doing that? I honestly have no idea why it's doing that. If anybody knows, I would love to hear why. Dead end. There's nobody here. You're crazy. Check again. Oh well. Uh, wait for me, Donald. Hey, wait up! Huh? What? What is it? Sora! Bang. Now, I will not hesitate to say that this is one of the harder fights early on in the game, I think, anyway. Because as you can tell, we don't have Donald or Goofy, so we can't use the Valor form. But we also cannot use Donald to heal us if we get low. And because we don't have Cure ourselves, and we only have like two high potions and I forgot to equip either regular potions or whatever else, we're pretty, you know, helpless when it comes to healing ourselves. Now, these Assault Riders, for whatever reason, appear to be a little bit harder in this cave than they were in that one area where we fought them before 
but I might as well go ahead and use a high potion here because I definitely don't want to die this early on in the fight. But right now, there's only one Assault Rider and a whole bunch of Shadow Heartless on the floor here. The Shadow Heartless on the floor are, of course, easy to take out. And my favorite way to take them out, actually, which you've probably seen me try to do, is use the Magic Combo using Fire, because that just takes out a whole bunch of enemies around you. And if you can get the, you know, the Combo Finisher, so to say, for the Magic Combo, it pretty much takes out any Shadows around you immediately. And I'm not really sure about the mechanics of this fight. Eventually, two more Assault Riders will spawn, but I'm not sure if you have to take out all of these enemies first. Regardless, though, I do like to have the Shadow Heartless gone before those new Assault Riders spawn so I don't really have to worry about them. And I really need to use my second High Potion, and that's kind of unfortunate as the second wave of Assault Riders spawns because now I don't have any magic or any healing items. So what I might as well do is waste all of my magic and then wait for it to replenish. And then when it does replenish, I can just continue to take pot shots with magic, which is a fairly, you know, scumbag tactic, I think. So I'm not really going to do that. That's not really honorable, I guess. But what I will try to do is whenever they attack, try to dodge, unlike Ping just did right there, and then try and get right up in their face and attack. And if something like that happens, when they get deflected, usually they'll get staggered and you can attack. And if they jump like that, they pretty much have sealed their own fate, because when they jump, they are clearly wide open to attack. And in the words of Northern Lion, once you've taken care of one of the two really hard enemies in the room, or whatever he says, it gets exponentially easier. And for defeating them, we get Slide Dash and Hyper Healing. Hopefully, I at least remember to equip Slide Dash. Nice fighting, Ping. You are amazing. You okay? Yeah, thanks to Ping. Come on, time to report to the captain. But Shen Yu wasn't here. Please, that haunt is old news. We're gonna tell the captain how thousands of Heartless stormed the cave and Ping took out almost every one of them. Now, I don't know how I feel about that because from my perspective anyway, maybe I'm biased. Ping did almost absolutely nothing during that fight but I guess she does need some recognition so she'll be accepted by the captain. But here in the village, we're going to be getting a cutscene. Don't overdo it, Captain. It's just a scratch. Oh. <gasps> Captain, the enemy, where did they go? They went toward the summit. We'll stop them. It kinda is our fault. Right. You mean my fault? Sean, you and the Heartless did this, not us. Captain, if you track down the villagers, we'll handle this. Let's go. And in the next episode, we are going to be climbing up to the summit of this mountain here. And I know this is going to be a little bit shorter of an episode than usual, but if I try to complete the rest of the level in one episode, it's going to be like 40 minutes long. So I thought I would go ahead and just split it up like this. It'll make for better, you know, content. I want to thank you guys for watching this episode of Let's Play Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. And I hope to see you guys back for the next episode.